Colorado's marijuana industry is adapting. A dispensary is doing that by letting you skip the human interaction when you buy pot. Denver 7's Micah Smith shows us how this new automated experience works. Like most industries, the cannabis industry is always looking to innovate, like with these express lanes and drive throughs At Terrapin Care Station in Aurora, I'm going to first start by scanning my digital ID. A cannabis vending machine is creating buzz. Just like you're going to the grocery store and you want to go to self-checkout, why does cannabis have to be any different? This is ACE, the automated cannabis experience. <laughs> Terrapin area manager Dina Elliott says it is the latest and greatest piece of cannabis technology. You will still check in with a human that checks your ID to ensure you're 21 years of age. And then the machine is located inside the bud room. Once inside, the machine scans your ID, then it takes your cash and starts working on your order. This has been about five years in the making. Peter Marcus is the vice president of communications for Terrapin. He says the company has been working with BMC Universal out of Canada on the project. They've done traditional vending machines like M&Ms and things like that. And they wanted to know how to create uh, one for the cannabis industry. We were basically the prototype company to um, work with them to invent and develop this machine. It is the first in the world that is fully automated in the sense that it will check your ID, validate that ID, uses a camera to make sure that it's you, dispenses the product in an exit bag. The exit bag will be stamped with the compliance labels from the government. Marcus and Elliot say as the cannabis industry ages in Colorado, this is one way to get curious customers who may not want to interact with many people through the door. In Aurora, Micah Smith, Denver 7. And Terrapin Care Station in Aurora is also one of the few dispensaries in the metro offering marijuana delivery. State lawmakers passed a bill in 2019 allowing that delivery. It's been slow going for dispensaries, though, to get on board. In Denver, all marijuana delivery licenses have been reserved for social equity businesses. Marijuana sales have been decreasing in Colorado for the past couple of years. Digging into the data, the state reported $1.7 billion in sales last year, and that's down from $2.2 billion in 2021. In 2020, the state had $2.1 billion in sales. Marijuana sales in Colorado started in 2014, and so far the state has seen nearly $14 billion in sales.